Patty and Laura met through Dayton Country Club. Patty was an employee. And, um, you know, we knew her quite well. Laura was just stopping at the club to drop off something. Patty was walking out in the parking lot in tears. And of course, we all knew that Patty had been fighting cancer, but didn't realize she had just gotten a really negative, bad report. It came back uh, with a vengeance. This was her third bout of breast cancer. And so imagine if you're 45 years old, you're a single parent, you have three children, you're the sole breadwinner, and your family it lives in New Jersey, California, and Illinois. So there's no one here. Uh, we've seen Patty fight it before, but uh, this diagnosis was a terminal diagnosis. So Laura took it upon herself to comfort Patty and to you know try to help her. That was where it started. Laura did decide to help Patty right away, but I don't think any of us had any idea what this was going to involve. Laura uh, understood that there's probably Social Security benefits that would be available for her. Uh, she was going to have health um, insurance issues. Um, she was going to have to navigate um, taking care of the kids while she was getting you know, chemo treatments. Laura did take on everything. She, she was the kind of woman that she had a list and she was not to be satisfied unless every single thing was crossed off that list and complete. And once that list was finished, we started another list. Laura was a pit bull. She didn't miss any opportunity to take care of Patty. And it would have been so easy for her to walk away at some point because it is overwhelming. Patty could focus on herself. She didn't have to worry about as much about her children because she had help figuring all of those things out. Patty was separated for a number of years from her oldest daughter. And Laura was determined to track down her daughter. And uh, it took a little, a little doing, but she did. And I think she was there nearly every day to care for her mother. And it was such a wonderful uh, story to, to have that relationship developed. Um, while Patty was still feeling good and could enjoy um, so many months with her daughter. When it finally came, um, it, Patty was prepared. Patty died a peaceful death. I think she had been surrounded by loved ones throughout her illness. She had made peace with her daughter, so she went very peacefully. And we celebrated that for her. Laura is definitely a champion of hope. Uh, it's not in the traditional way if you think of you know, having a caregiver and someone's life is saved, but the family was saved and Patty's life was saved in the sense of, of how she was able to live the rest of her life and how she died. And that brings hope to, to all, a, a lot of people to say, well, if that's, that's my plight with cancer, I hope I go that way.